Um, I'm Lillian, and uh, I work in the community. Uh, I work in many facets of the community. Um, I am a staff for the Toledo Streets newspaper. I am the executive director and co-founder of the Promise House Project. I'm an advocate on the Lucas County Human Trafficking Coalition. Um, I'm the new chair for the Board of Community Relations for the City of Toledo, um, amongst other things. Um, but most importantly, I think about me is that I'm a mission above title kind of person. Um, I'm a trans woman. I'm very proud to be trans. How do you know if somebody's trans or what to call them? You ask. Um, so, hey, like you just say, like Lillian, uh, what's your preferred pronouns? I want to respect you. I want to make sure that I don't do anything to ever offend you. Um, tell me about who you are, uh, what you want to be called. And, um, and I'll actually re reverse that. It's not even about what you want to be called. It's about who you are. Um, we talk about preferred pronouns, um, and I don't really like that because it's not a preferred pronoun. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and goddess, if you will. <laughs> um, but it's also one of those things about the identity factor is that, um, most importantly, like there are transgender people, um, but within our community, there are people who identify in many facets. There's a lot of intersectionality. Um, there are people who don't identify with the binary at all. They don't ad identify with male or female. And that's okay because how somebody identifies doesn't affect you. Um, and um, most importantly uh, for cisgendered people, which is uh, cis means the same in Greek and Latin, um, which means you're on the same side of, which means your, your seat of self, your consciousness, who you are, matches your body. Uh, so a woman identifies as a woman, was assigned to, oh, to be a woman at birth, uh, she is cisgendered. Same for a male. Um, and transgender people are people who live outside of gender stereotypes, gender um, expectations most often time. Um, but for me, um, and it's just like one of those things I always tell people, it's like just like there's not one African-American American story or Latino American story, there's not just one transgender American story. Um, not all of us knew from the time we were little. Um, I know a lot of people who have come out in their later years after retirement. Um, and it's just, it's just not one story. There's a very broad brush that, you know, we're trapped in the wrong body. And I call bullshit. Uh, I'm not trapped in my body. I'm trapped in your conceptions of my body.